Hi, this is example number three of section uh, 17.4. We are talking here about using our equation of motion to calculate acceleration and reactions. So we are, in this problem, we have a rod. Let's give it a name. This is O, and we can call this point A. Rod OA has a angular velocity for the position so shown of is five meters per second. And one moment is applied, which is uh, with a value of uh, 60 ne newton per meter. And the mass of the rod is 20 kilograms with a length of three meters. We are going to solve this problem. As usual, we will do our free body diagram and we will do our kinetic diagram. And we make them equal. As we know, the, uh, the external forces that are in our system will be equals to the kinetic forces. So our free body diagram of our system, since we know that the center of mass of this bar is moving in a circular path, and the center O is our center of rotation, actually not only instantaneous center of rotation, but our center of rotation for all times. We have to decide which coordinates we want to use. We could use, for example, tangential and normal components. Because as we see here, we will have a tangent component and a normal component uh, because we have a circular path with respect to one point. Using that coordinate system, I can write my reactions in t direction and in n direction. So we have two reactions in O because we have a pin, and that pin restricts two degrees of freedom, so that produces two reactions. And then the other force, external force that is acting in my uh, rod is the weight. The weight is 20 times the gravity. And then we have an external moment, 60 newtons meter. So that's my free body diagram of the system. And then I have the kinetic diagram. The kinetic diagram, as we said, we have in our center of mass, we have two accelerations. We have our tangent acceleration and our normal acceleration. And we do not have to draw any other, uh, let me draw it in another color so to make sure that we understand these are the two accelerations for a circular path. Now that we have those two diagrams, we can make them equal, right? So the equations of motion will be in normal direction, we will have O n. This is the system n and t. I can say that this direction is the positive, and this is the positive. So this will be a positive O n. And I do not have any other external force. So that will be equals to my mass times my acceleration in n. You remember the acceleration in n will be equals to um, angular velocity squared times the radius. From here, we can actually calculate my reaction, which will be 20 times the velocity given, 5 squared times 1.5, which is the direction to my. So, and that's equals to. 750 newtons. So that's the first variable that I found. The second, so we can do the same but for the direction in tangent direction, and we have OT. Here we do have the weight as well, which is 20, 9 point, well, I put a positive because my positive direction is goes down, and then that will be equals to the mass and the tangent acceleration. And as you remember, the tangent acceleration is my radius times angular acceleration 
which I do not know. So from here, I have two unknowns, which is plus right here, equals 20. The radius I know times alpha. So this is a first equation that I will need to solve. So I need another equation to be able to solve angular acceleration in order to calculate the OT. So let's divide our screen. My third equation of motion is the moment, right? And uh, I could take moment respect to G or I can take moment respect to O. So let's take moment respect to O that, so that we have only one unknown, which is the alpha. So we am going to take moment respect to point O, and that will be, since this, if this point do, do not have motion, that will be mass moment of inertia about that point times alpha. The rest of the equation is zero because that point does not have motion. And to calculate the moment of inertia respect to O, we need to use the theorem of a parallel axis. So that will be that. What are the external moments that I have? I have 60, and I have the moment produced by the weight will be, which will be 1.5 times 20 times 9. And that's equals 2. What is the moment of inertia? As uh, we have done that in several other problems, 1 12th of mass times length. And this is mass. And the distance will be 1 half of the rod. So as you see in this equation, we only have as unknown alpha. Let's calculate that over here. That will be 1 12th, the mass and the length squared, the length is 3 squared plus mass, which is 20, plus 1 half, which is 1.5 squared. So when you calculate that, uh, that gives me uh, the value of 60 kilograms per meter squared. So I'm going to calculate all this, uh, this value right here, which is 354. So that is this equation, 354 times 3 equals 60. Alpha. So that's my second equation that I need to use. So with that equation, I calculate alpha, then I plug it in here and calculate the reaction in the tangential direction in point O. So solving 1 and 2, where actually 2 just gives you the, right, the value of alpha, I will uh, give you the, the answer, alpha is equals to 5 point nine radians over second square and the reaction in tangent direction is nineteen newtons and the reaction in normal direction we already wrote it right there is seven hundred and fifty newtons. So those are the results for what we were asked to calculate. You can also see the solution in the PowerPoint presentation.